from a spooky British ghost ship to the remains of a submerged Greek city previously lost to time, here are 10 shocking and amazing underwater discoveries. Number 10. British Ghost Ship A nightmarish shipwreck was discovered in the late 1990s by a fisherman named Manuel Polanco on the Banco Chinchoro Reef, just east of the tourist hotspots of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. But it wouldn't be for another two decades until divers actually went down to check out the wreckage. Divers working with Mexico's National Archaeological Institute finally explored the shipwreck in 2020, only to have their efforts stopped by the pandemic. Still, the little bit they did find at the site of the wreckage was nothing short of shocking. It turns out that the mysterious ship crashed at the biggest coral atoll in the Northern Hemisphere, often referred to as Nightmare Reef. After the ship's proper discovery, it was named the Manuel Polanco by the divers after the fishermen that found it. So far, there have been around 70 shipwrecks found crashed at Nightmare Reef, and only nine of them have been identified. This particular ship is still a mystery to historians, but some samples from the shipwreck have dated to be around 200 years old. Some of the interesting artifacts found with the shipwreck include a collection of iron ingots, an old cannon, and the ship's anchor. But perhaps what's most interesting is that the ship anchor was discovered to have been live when the ship ran aground. This suggests that the ship had been moving when the anchor was dropped, probably in a desperate bid to stop the ship from crashing into the reef. But as we can already tell from the wreckage, the ship definitely crashed and everyone on board was almost certainly killed. Have you ever gone scuba diving around any coral reefs? Did you find anything interesting there? You probably didn't find an old shipwreck, but tell me what you did find by leaving a comment down below. Then remember to subscribe to American Eye if you haven't already for more amazing videos. Number 9. The Ancient City of Olus the remains of ancient structures, fortifications, and other amazing remnants have just been discovered during some complex underwater excavations at the ancient Greek city of Olus, on the island of Crete. Researchers were able to discover an old loading platform, many anchors from Byzantine ships, and much more. But here's what you need to know about the ancient city of Olus before it was submerged. It was originally settled during Minoan times, it was one of the key cities of ancient Crete with roughly 30,000 residents, and they worshipped the old Greek gods like Zeus and Apollo. Olus finally disappeared in the year 780 AD because of either an earthquake or a landslide. The entire city was pushed into the water, where it remained undisturbed until modern archaeologists found it again. Much of the submerged part of the city has been pretty effectively destroyed. There isn't much left except the foundations of buildings and scattered pieces of walls and fortifications. On dry land, there are two rather impressive chapels still remaining, but most of what researchers found underwater was already ruined. Number 8. The Avro Aero In the early 1950s, the Royal Canadian Air Force decided to create one of the most impressive fighter jets in the world with a huge range of 300 nautical miles and a cruising speed of Mach 1.5. This was called the Avro Aero and you won't find any of these primitive fighter jets still around today. The vehicle had its virgin flight in March of 1958, and it immediately became a huge success for Canada and the country's aviation industry. However, the program was soon called by the Prime Minister, millions of dollars were lost, and tens of thousands of civilians lost their employment. But even more shocking is that 12 of the test models for the Avro Aero were lost in Lake Ontario between 1954 and 1957, and one of them has just been found. The majority of Avro Aero test models were launched from a military base near Lake Ontario, and for whatever reason, a lot of them fell into the lake and were never recovered. Since the 1990s, at least five expeditions have tried to pull these legendary aircrafts out of the lake. None succeeded until 2017 when a team of researchers and engineers used sonar technology to scan the bottom of Lake Ontario. After a lot of searching, the Avro Aero test model was found and recovered, then restored through a painstaking process of removing the stubborn muscles and other sea gunk. Once the Avro Aero was in proper shape, it was handed over to the Canadian Aviation and Space Museum and put on display. Number 7. The Yonaguni Complex The Yonaguni Complex off the coast of Japan was originally discovered in 1987, and to this day nobody knows what it is, who built it, where it came from, or what it could possibly mean. Some call it the most impressive natural site anywhere in Japan, populated by hammerhead sharks and other amazing sea life, and others call it a monument to an alien civilization. This complex is in fact a series of geometric terraces that were definitely crafted by human hands. Looking at it from a distance, the mountain seems to be a large platform where ancient underwater gods could hold meetings. Of course, the truth probably isn't that ridiculous. 
The Yonaguni complex is more likely some kind of pyramid crafted by a forgotten civilization. The largest part of the monument is a huge shelf of rock about 500 feet long, 150 meters, and 90 feet tall, 27 meters. And the surface of the monument is only hiding about 16 feet, 5 meters underwater. Scientists from the University of the Ryukus made a special expedition to the monument, at which point Professor Masaki Kimura became fascinated with the monument and began studying it obsessively. He concluded that the monument is certainly human-made, and he estimated it to be around 2,000 years old. But here's where things get crazy. The mudstones on the monument have been tested and dated to be 20 million years old. There have also been the remnants of castles, roads, and even a stadium found nearby the monument. This place could have been crafted by the ancient Yamatai culture of Japan, which would date it back to about 5,000 years old. It could be the remnants of a truly ancient society that lived 20 million years ago, or it could be just a huge coincidence. Right now, nobody knows the truth. Number 6. Primeval Underwater Forest A very strange primeval underwater forest was recently found deep at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. Scuba divers discovered the forest just off the coast of Alabama. It's being called the Bald Cypress Forest, and it was buried under ocean sediments around 50,000 years ago. There was likely a cataclysmic event that caused a huge portion of the coastal Alabama woods to be knocked into the ocean and submerged. But what's really amazing is that the trees were then preserved. At least, they were until Hurricane Katrina in 2005 ripped up the bottom of the sea and destroyed millions of lives. 50,000 years of preservation was destroyed overnight with the power of Hurricane Katrina. With all the protective sediments blown away, the bald cypress forest was exposed for the first time in history, and researchers were able to go down and take a look at the old forest. According to Ben Rains, one of the first professionals to dive into the bald cypress forest, the trees were so well preserved that they still smelled like fresh cypress sap. Divers have been working hard in recent years to recover as much of the old wood as possible before marine animals destroy the remains. And if you're wondering what kind of trees were buried in the underwater sediments, they were huge cypress trees. Some of the trunks are the size of trucks, and considering most of these trees were up to 1,000 years old when they were destroyed, the growth rings inside of them contain at least 1,000 years of accurate climate history. Number 5. Jason Voorhees Perhaps the most shocking thing anyone could find underwater is the ghoulish face of Jason Voorhees staring out from the dark and murky depths. And that was exactly what scuba diver Zachary Nagy was probably thinking when in May of 2018, he put a Jason Voorhees statue at the bottom of Lake Pleasant in Arizona to commemorate the Friday the 13th franchise and as part of a local ritual upon getting his diving certification. But while many people were thrilled by this creepy statue being at the bottom of the lake, others were not so happy. The news of Jason Voorhees being put in the lake quickly spread to the local Arizona residents and a bunch of people got very angry. This is a bit of a bummer for several reasons. First, Jason was not the first statue to be put into the lake. There was already a card table with chairs and skeletons playing poker, a few Christmas trees, and even a Volkswagen. But it was the icon of horror that pushed the locals over the edge, and now everything needs to be removed from the park. Nobody's allowed to put anything else in the water, and if you're caught putting a statue into Lake Pleasant, it could now be considered a crime. Number 4. The Mystery of the Bloop In 1997, a strange sound was discovered underwater that would become known as the Bloop. This sound was heard on hydrophones all across the Pacific Ocean. It was incredibly loud, it was heard at a very low frequency, and it was picked up by listening stations that were located over 3,000 miles. It was even detected by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and at first, nobody really knew what the sound was. Some claimed that the bloop came from an unknown animal somewhere deep in the ocean that nobody had ever seen before. However, others said that it was no animal at all, but actually the sound of an Antarctic ice shelf cracking and breaking. Imagine the sound you hear when you step into a frozen lake and the ice cracks, only about 10,000 times bigger and louder. But believe it or not, the bloop remained a mystery for roughly 15 years. It wasn't until 2012 that the bloop mystery was allegedly solved, with Robert Ziak, a seismologist with the NOAA and Oregon State University, confirming that the noise was what scientists now call an ice quake. Number 3. The Lost City of Heraklion The Lost City of Heraklion was nothing more than a legend. It was mentioned only a few times in ancient texts, with many historians and archaeologists not even believing in its existence. That was until it was discovered submerged off the coast of Alexandria in Egypt. The city's remains were first found by a French archaeologist named Frank Godio and his team in the year 2000. And this isn't just a single temple either. 
This was an entire lost city found inside the Abu Qir Bay, complete with underwater ruins, 64 wrecked ships, a treasure of gold coins, statues that stood almost 20 feet 6 meters tall, and a huge temple dedicated to the Egyptian god Amun Gereb. Researchers even discovered sarcophagi filled with sacrificed animals. Not all the secrets of this city have been revealed just yet. The research team is still working to uncover all the artifacts and relics and to see who lived in the city and what historical significance it may have had. It was definitely one of the greatest port cities ever in the ancient world, controlling almost all the trade flowing through Egypt. In fact, some people have referred to Heraklion as the Egyptian Venice. To this day, nobody knows why the city fell into the ocean or how. Number 2. Israel's Ancient Underwater Treasure An ancient underwater treasure was found back in 2015 when Zvika Feyer was diving near the Israeli port town of Caesarea. The diver had been in the area dozens of times previously and had found small remains from shipwrecked cargo such as pottery shards. However, this time he stumbled upon a treasure of gold coins stamped with Arabic script. This happened the day after a violent storm stirred up the underwater topography. The storm must have revealed the broken treasure, and Fayer was lucky enough to be going diving that day, where he found a gorgeous treasure lost to time. Being a good Samaritan, the diver alerted the Israeli Antiquities Authority of his discovery. When the investigators arrived, they got angry at the diver for disturbing the underwater archaeology. But then, just a few days later, the diver ended up working with the Antiquities Authority to bring up over 2,000 gold coins, all of them 24 karat gold with a purity of over 95%. It's not exactly clear where the coins came from, but we do know that the town of Caesarea was built in the 4th century BC as a trading post between the Phoenicians and the Greeks. It was captured by the Romans, became the capital of the province of Judea, and in 640 AD the city fell to Muslim invaders. Since then, Caesarea hasn't been much more than an interesting historical spot with a small population of fishermen. Number 1. Mastodon Bones and Stone Tools Stone tools and mastodon bones have just been discovered in a very cool prehistoric site in Florida. These incredible artifacts were found inside of a deep sinkhole located in the Osceola River, and archaeologists are saying the tools and bones are leftovers from the Clovis culture, thought of as being the very first people to ever live in America. Their migration to the North American continent goes back between 13,000 and 15,000 years. Now, the watery sinkhole that the bones and tools were pulled out of was first investigated in the 80s and 90s, but it wasn't until recently that a professor of anthropology from Texas A&M University and his team went back to the site and recovered additional artifacts and did additional carbon dating, which ultimately revealed the relics to be at least 14,550 years old. The leftover bones and stone knives discovered by the researchers suggest that the Clovis people were hunter-gatherers and existed peacefully with mastodons and other huge beasts for around 2,000 years before they abruptly went extinct. Do you have a favorite underwater shipwreck? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more even amazing videos right here on American Eye.